Okay guys, I want to talk to you about retargeting people. Um, there's two websites that have in the title. One is AdRoll, which means AdRoll.com. And the other one is Perfect Audience, which is PerfectAudience.com. Um, I've been to both of their websites. I'm very aware of, uh, more so of hearing about AdRoll for a while. I've had friends that have used it and very aware of the concept. Um, I haven't needed to use it just yet. I will be at some point here. I'm fine tuning the product market fit before I start using it. Hey, thanks for the uh, hearts. So basically here's the idea and this is how cool this is. Um, a lot of people uh, think about, Pally, Paul, oh, good to see it. A lot of people when they think of marketing to people on like, let's say a Facebook or like the Google ads across the internet, most people just say, well, I'm gonna, get 100,000 impressions. Well, let's say 99% of those people are not that targeted, so you're kind of throwing away that money, right? Because most of those aren't even gonna convert into clicks. Well, the difference with ad roll in perfect audience is not only could you, I think only with one of them you can do this, but I think you can take like your email list and you can upload them into the power editor and possibly Facebook and you can retarget your email list with impressions across those networks. So you can imagine how much more targeted that is. Those are people already on your email list and you're following them all over the internet. Um, in addition to that, and there's different, it's a little bit different with ad roll and perfect audience. I've heard perfect audience um, can do something maybe that ad roll can't, but I don't want to say one's better over the other. And I haven't really checked up the pricing as well, but keep in mind you're taking out the fat of 99% of the marketing. So let's say you have somebody who, have, who has visited your Facebook page before. Let's say they've visited your website before. Let's say they've visited certain pages on your website before. Let's say that they um, have opened your emails before, an HTML email, and cookies have been dropped onto their computer, okay? Well, here's what's interesting is you can say, from my understanding, you can just basically, on ad roll or perfect audience, you can go in there and say, I only want to market to the people who have opened my email before, or I only want to market to the people who have been to the buyer's page of my website before. This gives you a chance to really narrow down who you're spending money on. Um, you're more investing money at that time and you're not really wasting money. Uh, you're just really getting rid of all the people that were just kind of dropping by and curious and just left. You're only targeting the people that um, have shown great interest by going to a buyer's page who have clicked on certain links. So it really gives you a chance to filter down who you even want to pay for marketing to. It allows you in this world to do very super targeted marketing. I believe the way they can do that is just probably a code and that code shows as a cookie on their computer. And this concept has been around for I'm sure two decades or more, so it's nothing new. But this part of it's been around for the last few years, this retargeting idea. So when you see those ads just kind of follow you all over the internet, and they seem super relevant, now you know what, how they're doing it. So go to adroll.com. You can even show up in people's Facebook feed along with all their friends' posts. You can show up in there as, a, um, as well. And then there's also sponsored listings that can show up in there as well. So I got more uh, ideas coming up.